Hey everyone, welcome back. My uh, brother dropped off a uh, battery tender, a battery charger, yesterday. Um, I'm not exactly sure what's wrong with it. Uh, obviously it's not working. Um, I've never seen this kind of a charger before. Uh, it says uh, Delfran, Delfran Battery Tender International. It's very light, so there's not too many components in it. And uh, this is kind of the business end of it, right here. Uh, it is a uh, 100, 100 to 240 volt, 50 to 60 hertz, 12 volt, 1.25 amp, microcompressor controlled automatic battery charger. Microcompressor sounds like SMD's small component, so I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to have any success with this, but we're going to give it a go. Uh, we have two lights here. Obviously, there's two leads right here. These two leads, obviously, they will charge two batteries at one time. So we have green, which means good, and yellow must be in charging. So um, on the side here, uh, some information here, which is not the clearest. Anyway. Uh, it just uh, shows um, amber lights flashing. It means that it's charging, I would say. Amber lights steady means the battery. No, sorry, steady means the battery charging. Uh, green lights flashing. Um, battery is greater than 3% charged or 30% charged. You have to forgive me, but I'm going to get some more lighting in this room. I'll turn on this. Anyway, that's not the be all and end all. The thing is, it's not working. When the green lights are solid, of course, uh, it's charged. This is the uh, the AC part, and I, I, I've i noticed already, um, here the wire's good, but all along the way, there's been some repairs which seem to be done pretty good, and it feels like they've been soldered. So it's a good professional job done there. And another section here of uh, heat shrink so I'm assuming that uh, it's a pretty old one because it's been repaired several times so these rubber or vinyl uh, jackets on the wiring don't hold up very well to cold weather uh, that's why they should be using silicone or whatever so anyway the business end of debt is that there's no power on or power off it just plugs in by these uh, universal um, plugs here like I say you can do two uh, batteries at one time with this so it's a Delfran Corporation, Corporation out of uh, Dillon, Florida and uh, we have four points here uh, to remove screws and we're going to do a test and see if we can get the uh, this charger back working again. So uh, when I plug it in, as you can see the yellow lights are blinking, which is saying that uh, it's just ready to go, I think, according to the instructions. Right there. That would be the blinking the yellow one right up here at the top. Whatever that says. AC power applied. Battery not connected. There you go. I just done a test on the two probes the two ends here that should have the business end of well, some voltage coming out and there's uh, as showing negative and positive when I crossed them left you know but um, there's no voltage uh, I'll give you a, a sample of that if I can get this in shot and uh, I think you might be able to see the meter maybe if I lay it down there we go uh, I'm going to test one lead first, and this is the reading I'm getting, 0 0.001 volt DC, and the second one same, I think. Well, while I'm jiggling around, it's uh, certainly something different, but we're going to have to go inside here and check, make sure these wires here aren't bad, so go right into the source and make sure that there's a nothing on to go uh, without being able to hook up to a battery I don't know 
how much further I could test this. So that's it. We'll uh, get inside and have a look at the, uh, it's probably going to be very small microscopic components and it's uh, going to be difficult to, to fix. So we have the top off and as we can see there are two separate boards here. Uh, so it's basically two chargers into one which gives me a slight bit of hope that we might be able to repair this because we have a problem, we have an issue with boat boat lines, boat uh, DC chargers. So it's possible that it's not a problem here in these circuit boards, but it may be up in the uh, the AC end, uh, possibly a fuse, uh, because there's power getting to these two units. This is showing negative and positive when I cross the, the plus and minus, uh, but no voltage, no charge per se. The unit's unplugged, by the way. Uh, so just got to see if we can find something that would be um, damaged here. Now, you know, you never know. With my luck, it could be one board feeding off the other, and it could be not sending it, and, because they're not, they don't look like identical boards, now that I'm looking at it. Although well, they possibly could be. I think they are. I'm going to have to double check. So that's where we're to now. Uh, hopefully find something uh, in the pre-distribution of vo uh, charging voltage uh, issue, a wire, a fuse or something. If we can fix that, we'll get this unit back on the go. But also test the wires and make sure that these uh, these leads are uh, AC getting in, of course. But uh, and check these leads to make sure on this end that there's actually uh, no, no more breaks because the wires could be broke off there. Although having two of them broke up at the same time is is not a you know it's it's not statistically uh, that good of a uh, of a percentile I'd say. So that's where we're to. Let's see if we can find a fuse. So we've uh, we've disconnected this uh, this board here. There's two boards, of course. Like I said, they're both getting a distribution of uh, AC. And both working independently, you could say. This here is a just a, um, a ferret block or whatever, I guess. To keep the uh, signal clean. It's not. I thought it might have been a fuse, but it's not. It looked more like a ferret block, and that's exactly what it is. So, all components check out. Uh, in basically, in the fusing department, uh, there's a couple of fuses. There's uh, fuse one and fuse two, basically. Uh, not a not a glass fuse, but a um, a uh, like a diode sort of a fuse, I guess you'd say. I've never seen anything quite like it. Like I say, I'm not uh, what you'd call a uh, a trained tech, but uh, there's one here on this board and that board, and there's one inside here as well. Um, basically, uh, it's a fuse on both sides of the line. Uh, so this this wire here would have a fuse be fused and this wire here it's also fused double fuse great and i've run up through the board and uh sadly uh the issue is uh, in the electronics part in well it could be uh this here multi pin uh, ic or this one now this one is in a it's actually in a um what they call it but uh, the IC is actually put into a socket that's what it's called yeah so it's removable and um, same here this one here is soldered to the board um, so anyway it's um, I'm trying to figure out what the, what that is I can't really see it to be honest with you anyway it's a uh, it looks like a uh, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eighteen pin IC, and this one here is the same. I think it's also an eighteen pin IC, and uh, that's that's where uh, that's where it goes there now. That's where the issue is. It's not the actual AC uh, DC component. We'll say it's the actual electronics part of the uh, the charger here that's failed, and I don't have uh, parts for it. 
So it looks like we're gonna have to stop there. I checked the wiring, everything's great. There's no components actually that look burnt, but uh, I would say it's just something just gradually failed or fell out of spec and is not uh, allowing the charger to continue on in its charging performance. So that's the end of that video. Uh, thanks for watching.